Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I just noticed that my canvas has a flaw in the corner and I don't want to use it, so I'm going to grab a different one. I got a couple of shovels and a couple of containers I could put a ring pour in. And those are my choices. In a moment I'm going to do that. But for right now, right now I am going to add some white paint to the surface of this canvas. And try and not allow it to be too awful much because I want enough of a layer to spread the paint but not enough of a layer to swallow much of what I add to the canvas. Just enough to move it. This is an OXO omelet turning spatula. I'm sure most of everybody who watches me has heard of this, if you haven't. I'm the one that discovered it in my local organic farmer's market, which is no longer. And I'm very happy that I did, and I've had many since then, and a lot of other people have too. It's the best paint spreading tool I know of, to give you not only a nice thin, even layer of paint, but if you spread it thinly, if you spread it evenly, <laughs> you will see what you need to pull out of there, usually. My eyes are not the best, even with reading glasses, so I tend to appreciate this. Okay, so I'm going to give myself some colors that I love and try and make them different. I'm going to start with my hot orchid. I'm going to use a little bit of Amsterdam white. I'm going to try not to make them, allow them to be the same. This is Decorat Americana 24 karat gold with some orange in it. This is my regular black mixture. You can always ask me questions if you need to know the answers to something. That was redundant. I've got a little bit of Anita's white metallic mixed with some of the folk art neon pink and speaking of that there's that it's very similar but not the same as the hot orchid i think i'm going to indulge myself in some of the venetian blue that also has a bunch of white anitas in it and last but not least some turquoise with iridescent pearl fine in it and maybe a little real gold Because I can. The name of my first book next to my second book on the Amazon link underneath the link tree underneath the video. So I'm going to try and make these colors different than each other, but I'm not. I like what I like. <laughs> it's hard. So I'm going to add some, Whoa, I don't want that to spill. I'm playing with the Amsterdam white because it reputedly makes cells. And this is a neon purple from folk art that needs to have white next to it. And I'm going to keep adding some more white. This is a golden hour from Arteza. I don't know how it's going to be in that purple, but we'll find out. Okay, so what else? This is very similar to the other. This is a folk art purple flash. I want some much darker purple in there. And then I'm going to take those down and I'm going to do wandering. I want to do the, the smallest wandering overlapping pores possible. and tip them to see how far I can get them to spread. Pretty shovel, really pretty. So let's just do that to begin with. Let's, let's grab an edge catcher, which I happen to have a few candy, short ones even just to stop that paint from flowing. 
and to spread it out for right now, I'm going to rock the edge so I can have a little bit of it right over the side. Same with same with that one. Turn the canvas around. This might this is a good experiment. I like this experiment. How far can they go and what will the patterns be like? I think it might be really important to have the same amount of paint all the way across, which means maybe a ring pour cup would be a better alternative. But I can just keep adding whatever I want in any configuration I want because I don't have rules. <laughs> if I did have rules, I'd be breaking them. I kind of want some black. But I'm thinking maybe some purple is better for right now. And I'm going to use some of my Venetian blue, even though I'm pretty nervous. Really? That's what tweezers are for, because I can't pick stuff up with my fingernails anymore. I don't know why not either. So I'm going to do a little bit of that and then a little bit of this and then a little bit of that again. There is something strange. Oh, somebody's playing football in my front yard by accident. Just took, an, took a header right into the shrubbery. That was pretty funny. That was extremely unexpected too, sorry. Distraction. I really want the black. And I think I want to let that all go right down all the way to the edge. And I would need a much longer edge catcher for that, and I have one. It's not long enough. Okay, I have the longest edge catcher possible. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use two for the moment. I'm just going to let all of that go right down there for right now. Don't try this at home, folks. I suggest a longer edge catcher. I'm going to let that go right over the top and scrape it back again. And I have some nice paint on those edge catchers. And that's pretty cool. I am also going to grab that paint off that edge catcher, even though it's really neat colors, and put it right back in my shovel because I can, and I don't want to waste it. And there's what it looks like right there. And I even still have a little bit of white on there that I need to throw that spatula into the water bucket so it won't set up. All right, so I'm thinking this is interesting. I'm liking all that. I'm wondering if I can get away with the black. And I bet I can. Wherever you stop and squeeze more, you're going to have more width added to your configuration. And I don't care what that black does right now. I'm going to bring my edge catcher back. Oh, I got paint all over. Okay then. Since the top has stopped moving quite a bit, I'm not afraid to allow it to tip down. I'm loving the gold in there. Those two gold colors is, are amazing. I'm just tipping and tipping and tipping and tipping some more. And once I get the hang of this, It'll be different. That would make a great sky. Okay, so now I have another shovel and I have a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. And just because we're making abstract accidental art means that I can 
take full advantage of the moment that I have paint I do not know exactly what will happen to. But I want it to spread out so that it doesn't keep rolling down. And I think we ought to go to the other side. And before I go any further, I ought to look and see if I can find the long edge catcher I thought was there when I started. And get any superfluous objects out of my way. Yes, I found it. It's on the very bottom. And it'll be prettier with, <laughs> with new paint added to it. And I will be cleaning off my turntable, and I hope there's enough time left to do this. I have some time. Okay, so... I've got this, and I've got this, so I'm just going to empty one shovel right into the other. Whether that's a good idea or not, I'm not sure. I'm going to start, oh boy, I'm going to start in from the end this time. Wider overlaps, so I have a chance to get the same amount of paint on both sides. Whoa. That went right over, and I took it back. Now, I really liked adding both the gold. Deco Art Americana with 24, that's 24 karat gold with some orange in it. And I even thought when I started this that I might, you know, swipe if I had to, but we'll see what happens. Just going to use the fact that all paint wants to flow to paint. And flow it around. Wherever it wants to go. And I want it to flow to the bottom also. So right now, before I go any further, and I might make up another shovel full, you never know. Let's see how far we can get this to spread out. And the top is spreading out still, which is kind of surprising, but that's cool, because I don't mind swallowing that center section. And as much as I like that, I am going to find myself some Anita's White Metallic. to help that paint move even further. And what else? And some black? Uh, and some purple. Because if I get it to flow down over the edge and there's still plenty of paint to move around, then I can flow back to the center again. And that would make me happy to get rid of that stuff in there. I can see there's a hair dangling off this edge catcher. Darn. Okay, so I'm going to rock that edge catcher a little bit. And then send all that paint right back up. To see where it winds up. I'm kind of wanting some turquoise in there. I'm going to use the paint on my edge catcher, am I? right here, because I can. And, because I have paint on my edge catcher still, and paint in my shovels, beautiful shovels by the way, really cool. So I'm gonna try and use everything I've got, because I can. Just scrape out my shovels and expect good things, I hope. This is a wild, out there, accidental art experiment. But I figure by the time I'm done, I will have learned something new. That shovel is going into the bucket of water. I like using up all my paint. If you watch me often, you know that about me. And I've got some great colors in there. I, 
kind of want to put some more paint in my shovel and just go for it. I'm going to throw my extra tools in the bucket and think about what I'm doing. So, what do I want in the center? I think I want to continue carrying my, my eye. It's going to be different, but it might be very cool. Let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. Just letting all of that flow down. And it looks like that bottom row still wants to move, so let's let it move. And I don't think I need it to be even or uh, anything more than just organic looking, free flowing strangeness, which is what it is. It's definitely that, if nothing else. I like all of that. That's pretty cool. What do I see that I need to change? Not a lot. I don't mind my little white gaps, but you know as I say that, that that's probably the indication that I also will need to change them or I wouldn't have noticed them to begin with. So, I'm going to torch to release any bubbles caught in the paint. I'm going to try and find any spots that I need to cover on my edges after the recording is done. In the meantime, any paint that happens to be on my fingers will get utilized. If I see anything that's a super odd, draws my eye shape that I don't want to do that, I'm just going to stick my skewer in there ever so gently drag it around a little bit. So let's take the edge catcher away so it's not so confusing to the eye and see if I like what I've got and fortunately I do. This is bugging me so it's gonna go along with that and that and I thought I could put up with them but I can't. I kind of want to do more to the center but I think it's time to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint and call it good. And I can't count that as a less than successful ring pour, traveling pour, traveling overlapping, overlapping straight. I don't know, it defies description to me. But it was fun and the colors are awesome and I like the piece, like a lot. And I'm wanting to do it again and I probably will. And this one, the smaller version, taught me what I can do and what I can't do to a certain degree before I move on to what I've my favorite 16 by 20 inch canvas. So please watch the videos longer if you can. It helps my standing on YouTube and every chance I get I'd like to be able to do that. Thank you for the contributions that help keep me painting all this time. I really appreciate them. If you are interested in being a contributor to the studio it will automatically get you entered in the monthly drawing and you can see the prizes for the drawing on the end screen video which is an exhibition video that's new every month. PayPal and Patreon icons are on my YouTube channel banner on the bottom right hand corner. In January there was a calendar but usually it's just paintings and uh, I'm not sure what it'll be about the time you <laughs> right about now. I've got one minute left to tell you guys check my link tree for my Amazon link and you can shop there at no it cost to you and it helps me out a little bit. Um, not as much as it used to, but thank you to everybody who is shopping from my Amazon like I really really appreciate that. Thank you for the wonderful comments that keep me Keep me motivated to keep bringing you more videos. I am going to just keep sticking my fingers in the In the gaps and using the paint that's on my turntable that's not dried up yet And it's camouflaging pretty well. I love you guys. There's over 91,000 oh, going on 91,400 and some. I'm not sure what today. I didn't I didn't notice exactly right before I came. So I love you guys. I hope you come again. I have over 1800 videos and you can find them all on playlists, on creative playlists, on all playlists on my YouTube channel. What else? 
I have two books on the Amazon link because I can in Unlimited Possibilities and also on the link tree you're going to find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links and Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Appreciation Group for Students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Totes and more for shopping, Pixels.com and Fine Art America which you can also find out, excuse me, you can also find 